Accidental Art is our World Design Capital 2014 project, which is part of a bigger initiative called the Nando's Global Art Initiative. And it's the first time in South Africa that we're taking art into the public realm. So Colossal and Nando have worked together before in the States, and it was a great experience when we were told about this project. A lot of us got excited. I think everyone was fighting to be the, the artist that came out here to South Africa to be on site and experience this. I found uh, meeting the actual, meeting the artist that made the art very exciting. Uh, it's something that never happens. I used to live in Long Street and I was inspired by the city life at night because I'm from the township. Having chores and going to clubs, it was a fantastic experience that I had. So working on a public space, I really think it's something that works for me. And I'm grateful that uh, I've got my work outside at Nando's, seeing the colors, the vibrance of colors in it, seeing something that, that people would enjoy. It could be something they would discuss about it. So this specific production piece um, consists of about 6,000 handmade little half square tiles. We have glazed them within a color palette of about 108 different glazes, uh, which we've all chosen together with the artist to really make sure that we capture the liveliness of the landscape which you wanted in this piece. When they ask me to come up with a design, I'm very aware of always of the context. So I, I knew that corner, of course, because I live in Cape Town, but I really tried to spend a bit of time there and get a feel for the kind of people that move through that space, the light in the space, the atmosphere within the space. And the one thing that I'm always quite aware of as a Cape Townian is the proximity of nature. Lisa initially gave us a design, uh, which she slightly altered on Photoshop, just to give us the scope of what kind of color palette we initially need. So we have a team of uh, five people in the studios and they all work together to make this panel a reality. The real challenge is to come up with an idea where people can take ownership of that or engage with that or, you know, be impressed by it or feel at home with it, to create something that would really um, hopefully move people when they see it or make them think about what's behind the building. And I wanted to create something that would be both visually impressive or kind of create a sense of wonder, but would very specifically also maybe become a point of discussion for people that pass through that space. 